I'm Dr. Stephen Claypool. Before we get started with this video on fruits versus vegetables, I'm going to review the dietary changes that potentially have the greatest impact on health. Results come from this study. If you've watched my video on nuts, you won't be surprised that eating more nuts is the number three most impactful dietary change. Wait, you say, number three? I thought nuts were number one. Nuts are number one for prevention of heart disease, but when all other causes of death are also figured into the equation, they drop to number three overall. Based on this video's title, you're probably not surprised that vegetables are on the list. They're here at number five, and fruits are number one. Say what? Yes, fruits are number one. They're higher on the list than vegetables, which are number five. But fruits are like desserts. They're delicious, and vegetables aren't. That's not fair. Life isn't fair for vegetables. Even though fruit tastes sweet, making a concerted effort to increase fruit consumption may have a bigger health impact than making an effort to increase vegetable consumption instead. One of the reasons is because Americans eat very few fruits. We eat very few vegetables too, but we eat about half as many fruits as vegetables, so there's more room for improvement. And it's the same in Europe. But it's more than just amount of produce consumed. But before we dig into the differences between fruits and vegetables, let's look at the data for both. Published in 2014, this meta-analysis combined 16 cohort trials covering almost a million people, of which 50,000 died. These people were followed for up to 26 years in some of the studies. From these studies, we know that vegetables are associated with a reduction in death of about 5% per serving eaten per day, and fruits are associated with a reduction of about 6% per serving per day. The benefit persists for up to five servings per day, up to about a 25% reduction in death. After that, there appears to be no additional benefit. Five fruits and vegetables daily is a lot, though. Few people eat that much produce. Remember that this impact is on all-cause mortality. This is a list of the most common causes of death, even ones that cannot be impacted by nutrition. When this list is pulled together into one group, the reduction in all deaths can be reduced significantly by fruit and vegetable consumption. For vegetables, does it matter if they're cooked? Well, we know that cooking vegetables denature some of the nutrients, so raw vegetables have more nutrients. On the other hand, it's easier for the body to absorb nutrients from some cooked vegetables, so in some cases, we actually get more out of cooked vegetables. In the studies, raw vegetables are slightly more protective from a health perspective, but the clinical significance is modest. So don't worry about it. Both cooked and raw vegetables are good for you. Are all the vegetables the same? For the most part, yes. Avocados have cholesterol, some have starches, others don't, but who cares? We don't have enough details yet to nitpick. Almost all seem to be protective. But there are a few important exceptions. Don't consider extremely starchy foods to be vegetables. Corn is a grain, not a vegetable. Potatoes have a very high starch level and should not be considered to be the same as other vegetables. I will cover these separately in a future video. How about fruits? Yes, for the most part, all fresh fruits are healthy. They all seem to offer protective benefits. Exceptions include canned fruit and frozen fruit, which are often preserved with added sugar. And fruit juice, these are not healthy. But fruits are sweet. What about the sugar in fruits? Is it a problem? Actually, almost all fruits have a very low glycemic index, which means that the sugars in fruits do not significantly or rapidly raise blood sugar levels. The sugars in fruits are released slowly. In fact, almost all commonly consumed fruits raise blood sugar much, much less than potatoes or corn or bread or many other foods. They're similar to many other vegetables. So don't worry about the sugars in fresh fruit. It just helps them taste good. And I'll cover this topic more in an upcoming video. Where do fruits fit on our healthful scale of foods? Right here, alongside nuts. And vegetables are just slightly lower. Fruits and vegetables belong at this location of the scale if you can eat up to five servings per day. Their healthful impact will be moderated if you consume less. Fruits and vegetables reduce all-cause mortality. Maximum benefit is seen with the consumption of five servings per day. I recommend increasing fruit consumption in particular because Americans tend to eat very little fruit. Oh, what about the mystery spots on this list? Reducing processed red meat consumption is number seven, not as high as you might think, in part because most of the world doesn't eat that much red meat. If this was only a study in the U.S., then it would be higher. What about spots number two and number four? Stay tuned for upcoming videos.